What's going on, everybody? So it's being reported that LeBron James is going to look into possibly acquiring Carmelo Anthony to the Cavaliers to help him take down the Golden State Warriors. Right now, these are preliminary talks because it is clear that, it you know, something has to be done. So the, the Cavaliers can't beat the Warriors with just the team that they have constructed right now. And as we have already seen, we know that Kevin Love is going to shrink in the biggest moments. I don't know what's going on with J.R. Smith. I know there were some things that was going on with a, you know, with a child he just had. I hope everything works out for him. Um, but the bottom line about, you know, this big time sport, which is the NBA and why they're paid so much money is we got to, they, they have to be able to compartmentalize. Like they have to know that even though other things are going on, they got to go out and play. Look at Isaiah Thomas, bro. The dude lost his sister. He played very, very poorly in our uh, game one, came back out, played hard. Like at the end of the, that's why they're professional athletes. It's not like they're not human. Obviously we all are going to have situations where it's going to affect our psyche. Um, for most of us, we're able to get away with a lot of things throughout life where we don't have to go through some of the things that our people around us have to go through, but it's still something to where these guys are paid tremendous money. They have to perform. Now, with Carmelo Anthony and Phil Jackson, it's obvious that Phil Jackson hates this guy's guts. I think he'll trade him for, for like some Bubblicious and a twi like and a Twizzler. Like he really, really hates Carmelo Anthony. I've never seen a grown man that's an owner and a GM do the things that he's done to Carmelo Anthony this entire season. Obviously, LeBron James and uh, Carmelo Anthony has a history going way back to Denver Nuggets and when he was with the Cleveland Cavaliers originally when he was uh, you know, brought into the league. But the one thing that I have to worry about with Carmelo Anthony is I don't know if Carmelo Anthony would be willing right now to take that role of you know, not being the star. You know, playing in New York is a huge thing. You know, it's at Madison Square Garden. You know, it's, it's New York City, bro, the city that never sleeps. I don't know about how he would, you know, be able to fit in right now with LeBron James at this age. I do think it's probably in his best interest to do it. Do I think they would beat the Warriors? I don't with 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 LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, Kyrie Irving, that that being the big 3 and everybody else they're figuring out the role players. I would keep Kyle Korver because I know that he can make that three. Uh, he just had some really, really, really bad uh, shot selections where he just turned around and just shot the ball regardless of who was in front of him. Um, I would definitely keep him. Um, but Kevin Love has to go. We got to figure out what we can do for Kevin Love. Kevin Love is not the guy that you need if you want to go to that next level and win multiple championships. But it's just something about Carmelo Anthony. I don't know it's whether it's because he allegedly, you know, got a stripper pregnant and Lala, you know, left him. I, I don't know. The dude makes bad decisions. I don't know exactly how we would be able to, um, you know, put him in that lineup because he's gonna need the ball. He's gonna take a lot of shots also. But it, then I think about it, it kind of works because LeBron could just feed him. I think Carmelo Anthony has lost a step as a defender, but he's a very, very strong post-up player. And I think he would be a guy that can slow the game down against the Warriors. Um, but I just don't know about you know, like, you know, with, with it's very, very tough. Like, I can't just say, yeah, we're going to, you know, it's probably a good fit for the Cavaliers. And I don't think that this gives them that edge to go and beat the Warriors. I don't even think that he, I don't know. Because who would he guard? He's not, he, he can't guard, well, nobody can guard KD right now the way he's playing. But I'm trying to figure out, I just know with his post-up game, he could, he could more than likely slow the game down. And he's a great shooter. But I think Paul George would probably put them, oh, I, I like Paul George more than Carmelo Anthony going to the Cavaliers. Uh, just by the, just because of the way of their makeup, their framework, you know, what they could do. I think that Paul George, is a, Paul George is a better defender. I think he's a better overall scorer. Even though Carmelo Anthony, you know, you can't stop him either. I don't know how much he has left. But again, we saw what happened to Kevin Durant when he went someplace where he was happy. Carmelo Anthony is very unhappy in New York right now. Would he be able to turn out and just ball out like the old Carmelo Anthony from the Nuggets, even back to the Syracuse days? I don't know. It's a possibility. But I think that if they do get Carmelo Anthony, if LeBron James is able to recruit Carmelo Anthony to the Cavaliers, I think that that gives them the edge to get to the next level. But I don't know if they can beat the Warriors. We got four dudes we gotta worry about with the Warriors. Draymond Green, Klay Thompson, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant. That would be a big three. We're still missing something. How can we, and I don't think that we can get both. Well, actually we probably could get both. We could probably get 
Um, and when I'm saying we, I'm just saying LeBron. I'm not, I'm not a Cleveland Cavaliers fan. I'm saying we because, you know, me and LeBron roll deep like that. But I'm going to tell you if we can possibly get Carmelo Anthony and Paul George, it's a good game. It's GG's. We keep in mind they have to do all of that to take down LeBron James at 32 years old. We have to listen. Kevin Love has to be worth something uh, on the market. He has to go. I don't want to see him next year. I'm gonna tell you this right now. And also Tristan Thompson with all those Kardashian BS, he has to go too. Because look, I love me some Kardashians. They're a great family. They take care of each other. All that stuff. They got a curse on them, bro. They, listen, I understand, bro. bro listen, man, I'm gonna tell you this right now. I don't know what's going on with the curse, but Tristan Thompson has to go. Lamar Odom died and came back, bruh. Like, if that ain't enough for you guys to understand that, that that family, they do some crazy stuff to these athletes. I don't know what else to do. I love them as a family. I got to keep them away from my sports. You know what I'm saying? It's as simple as that. But I do think that they'll end up getting Carmelo Anthony because Phil Jackson just wants him out of, he just wants him out of New York. I think he'll just give him away for free, to be honest. Let me know what you're thinking. Does Carmelo Anthony put the Cavaliers over the edge to beat the Warriors? Let me know. One love.